Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to teach you how to do the Polish Platform Collider Part 3 and this is going to be wall jumping. Now, this is the project we're going to have at the end of this tutorial. It'll be up on GitHub in, and the link will be in the description. So you'll notice from the last tutorial, if I press jump, the rat is kind of like um, interacting with the player when it shouldn't be, so we're going to fix that with that. So we're going to go to the back and we're going to make sure that is not on here. And what this is doing is we're removing this from the actual collision uh, for the from the collision checks so this isn't on any layer so nothing can interact with this however the masks is checking for outward collisions and this is going to be checking for free which is we know as, as our floors and you also notice that I've changed the scene so I've had this big massive wall and the reason I've done that is just so we just so like that's a platform you can't get to unless you can do wall jump so that's the reason I've done it and you'll notice that the camera bounds is a little bit shrunken and I want to make that a little bit bigger just so we can see the, the, the wall above us so you're going to go to your camera on the player and you can just change it to 1.5 and that will zoom out just enough so we'll see it and you'll post there you see the camera bounds are just outside it now uh, what we're going to do is go back to the player we're going to go to the Raycast module uh, container we're going to add in a new Raycast Recast 2D, call this right ray, and we'll move it to where, where this uh, collider starts. It's important that that, and then just outside the slide collider. And then I'm going to make sure it's colliding with free because we only want it to be colliding with the walls. We can cast it to 20 because that's how, how big this collider thing is. And also, we're going to enable it. And what I'm going to do is make sure that's right, and we're going to go to the right way, press Ctrl D just to duplicate it, move it across, and I'm just going to call this left way. Save that. Brilliant. Let's go to the script, go to the player script, and then we're going to put in some two new export variables. And I'll copy and paste that in. So this is going to be export of our wall jump height, and this is going to be uh, how high you jump when you jump off a wall. And then you've got wall jump push, which is how fast you get pushed away from the wall. So you could have it so you could spring off the wall really fast, and that might be a mechanic in your game. Just fiddle around with these variables, see what you like. And save that, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go down, and um, we've got the raycasts here, and we're going to copy this raycast. And we call it right ray. Right ray. Do the same again. Call it left ray. Left ray. So now we've got variables that are linked to these uh, nodes, and we can use this to determine that when this is touching a wall we know we can do a wall jump you might be thinking well why don't we jump using the, the collision colliders is on wall um, because we don't have any control where we put these colliders if that's the case and it's nice just to have some leeway so you jump just before you touch a wall once again it goes back to what your eye sees and what the computer is actually doing there's a little bit of a mismatch there and this, this just adds to a nice feel you usually find that you think that you're pressing wall jump and your character's not just he's just not touching the wall and, and it feels like he is. So this negates that. I'm going to go back to the scripts and what we're going to do is we're going to change this now to check ground logic is now check ground wall logic. So we're checking the ground and the wall. Copy that and what we're going to do is go to the check ground wall and we change it there. Brilliant. Save that. So what I want to do is just under this if touching ground ray scale part right here, I want to add in these two these lines of code, and this is just going to say check if either wall or collider is touching a wall. Um, if we are touching the wall is true. Plus, plus. So it's self-explanatory there. We're just basically saying, hey, is he collider touching the wall? No, we're not. Yes, we are. Then it returns true or false, depending on that. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go right down to our jumping code. And what we're going to say is if we're not, if we're touching the ground, we don't want to mess with that, but we're going to say else. 
we're in the air. Now that's obviously when we want to do our uh, logic. Now what's really important is that we make some space here and you, this method, this has to be right at the end of the method so any new logic you put it in, make sure it's this is always after it. So we're going to go here and I'm going to say if right ray dot is colliding and input dot is action is action just pressed jump then I want to say v speed equals wall jump height h speed so this is our x speed wall jump and that's going to be push and I believe this is going to be minus because we're pushing a, uh, the opposite way of going right is left so that's minus also we want to make sure that we flip the the, uh, the uh, animation so if that's true and then also we want to make sure that double jump is also true as well and what we can do is we can go else if and we can just copy this put that in here and then I'm going to change this to left way and then we're just going to copy this and then what we're going to do is we remove the minus make this false and leave this as true that's, that's right Now we're going to play this and see how it looks. You'll notice it, it is working, which is great, but when we hit off the wall, we're doing a double jump. I don't want that. So to negate that, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the script. Uh, we're going to go to where it's in the air, uh, where it says carry time, and we're just going to say, um, and we're not touching a wall. So it's just saying, hey, we won't do a double jump if we're touching a wall because we know we're going to do the wall jump. Let's make sure this works. Brilliant. That's what I want. I like to turn. So, and you'll notice that we can do a double jump, wall, double jump, wall, double jump, wall, double jump, wall. And I like that. I, it works for me. If you don't want that, you, what you can do is you can go back down and you can just remove it from the uh, from here. You can just have this as false, so you won't do a double jump after you jumped off the wall. And that concludes part three of the wall jumping. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for part four. It's most likely going to be a less like dash because I thought that's a really nice game mechanic, and I think we can put it in the code relatively easy. It's probably going to be a bit of a lengthy tutorial, so I look forward to that, and I'll see you in part four. Take care. Bye-bye.